And the weather delivering a crushing blow to a car in Quincy, whipping winds, taking down trees all across the state. We are seeing a lot of damage and destruction. And one area hit particularly hard was Quincy. That's where we find 7's Jonathan Hall live with what they're dealing with. John? Well, good afternoon. Wollaston Beach has definitely seen nicer days. The wind whipping right now still after all these hours. Luckily for us, we're not getting that much rain. Take a look at the sights you see here on the beach. Here is a sailboat that has apparently been ripped from its mooring, and now it's just sitting there on the sand, kind of lonely, and it's not the only one. Struggling with the weather, a crane crew tried to pull one of the sailboats upright, apparently after the wind ripped it from a mooring. A restaurant owner right across the street couldn't believe his eyes when he woke up. And I see this sailboat almost all the way in the street, and I couldn't believe it. I haven't seen that in 50 years. We've been here 50 years, so I've, I, that was a real surprise. Surprising sights all around. Take a look at this tree in Hingham. It fell, taking a good chunk of the front lawn with it. The wind was just pretty incredible. I don't think anyone's expecting the wind. When this tree came tumbling down, it did puncture the roof. The rain has been coming in ever since it toppled over. Because the, the lines are still live, uh, they, can't, they can't cut it till the power's cut. So I took a lot of water in last night. Gusty winds took trees down in Milton, too. This giant birch got hung up in some power lines, and a few miles up the road, a pine tree came tumbling down off Randolph Ave. And back in the city of Quincy, a guy with a chainsaw was hard at work getting a big limb off of a Mazda. Its owner was inside Grumpy White's last night enjoying a cocktail for a while. He noticed right at 9.30 that they heard a big noise and they came outside and noticed that his car was uh, pretty much totaled. Plenty of damage to the houses, also to the boats. Just think of it. You've got the damage to the hull, perhaps the keel, and then you've got to pay to get it off the sand. We're live in Quincy, Jonathan Hall, 7 News.